What's up guys, welcome to another tutorial on our third person locomotion. Today I said in the last one that I was going to uh, make the character. Um, so make the character when we hold our right mouse button, we're going to go into a kind of a aim down the sights um, kind of thing. So we're going to get our camera closer to the shoulder and like lock the camera and like the camera rotate, uh, the character rotates with the camera. And I remember I said that we'll pick up the anim star pack to get animations, but actually not going to do that. Because um, what I'm doing in this series is not really to show weapons, I'm doing a series for that. Um, I don't actually want to make it all the weapon and anything like that, I just want to make the locomotion of it, so like um, all the character in rotation with the camera, get the camera closer, etc. So yeah, I'm rather focused on that and then we, like I have another series uh, doing weapons, and if you guys have any doubts or you want me to do it, you can actually tell me in the comments, I don't mind doing it, but I don't think it's really... Uh, you know, it's not really what I want to do in this series. So let's get into it. First thing, I'm just going to do something really quick. Um, so you remember in the last video set up our sprint stuff, but I actually wanted to do something. So if I play and I run, I can actually uh, sprint, but I kind of I want to do something uh, with the camera. So what I'm going to do is when I'm sprinting, I'm going to find our camera boom here in the viewport. The camera boom is this line, which basically tells us the distance between the, the camera and the player. And you can see that this is 300 by default. I'm going to make this uh, 450 when I, we, when we sprint. So we get a little bit of um, further distance when we sprint. So we get a little bit of uh, velocity filling, I guess. And I'm going to try doing that. So I'm going to do that after we do our set timers over here. So the, the upper part is when we sprint. So I'm going to do it here. So I'm going to get our camera boom. And I'm going to set the target arm length. That's the distance of that line. I'm going to make when we sprint 450. And I'm just going to uh, uh, get this, Control C, go back, uh, go back down over here into the, the timer from the bottom. And I'm just going to set our target arm, arm length back to 300. So let's compile and save this, see what happens. So when I play, uh, now I sprint. You can see that we're kind of a little bit further away. And if I stop sprinting, we're going to be closer. And this kind of snapping, but I guess it's fine. We could, we could instead of, you know, snapping into the target value, we could kind of um, do a LARP. So let me just show you how to do that. And also, I don't want to call this here. Let's just pick up this, disconnect it, the bottom part. We want to do this before this delay. So let's just get a little bit of space over here. Uh, let's do this. Uh, get everything over here, get a little bit of space, let's pick up this stuff, bring it back here, and let's call it over here, boom. And what I want to do to make this a smoother transition, I just want to go over here, I'm going to do it uh, over here, but it's going to serve for both parts, I'm going to create a little bit of space that we can work with, and I'm going to right click and call a LARP, or I guess, uh, I think, I guess it's this, okay. So it's going to be an interpolation, F interp2. So this is basically going to, um, instead of just snapping into 450, it's going to kind of do um, adding values into it. So it's going to go from 300, 301, 302, etc. Un until we get to our target arm length. And the current is going to be, so the current value of the arm length. So we're going to need to go into the camera boom and get the target arm length. And we need to connect this into the current. The target is going to be our 450 that we want. The delta time, we can just drag from it and get delta uh, get delta world seconds. That's going to be fine. And the interp speed is basically how, how quick we want to do this interpolation. I'm just going to give it a default value of 10 for now. And I'm just going to go ahead and copy all of this. Control C. I'm going to go over here. I might delete this so it's better. I'm going to paste this. You go, and I'm just going to connect this up, and just uh, drag this down so it doesn't overlap. And the target over here, I just changed it to 300, so that's when we stop sprinting. And I guess we can test this out now, so let's play. You can see, okay, you probably can't really see it, uh, but you can see that the camera doesn't really snap anymore. So you can see that it's there's kind of a drag of the camera instead of a snap. 
but it's a little bit quick. I think the smaller we make this value, the longer it takes to make the thing. So I'm going to switch this back down to 5. The interp speed. I'm going to compile and save. Let's play this. Okay. Did I miss then some value over here? Let me see. Targets 450. And target is 3. The values are kind of not. Um, Okay, I guess we're gonna need to make this um, this value a little bit bigger. So let's get instead of using 450, let's use something like 600. Let's compile and save. So when we sprint, you can see that the camera goes back further away. When we stop sprinting, it goes closer. And yeah, you can now uh, play around with these values to see them really for yourself. That's going to be fine. Yeah, that's going to be cool. Uh, so, uh, this was just something that I wanted to show you how to do in case you wanted to. You can now play around with these values with the time and the target length, uh, however you want to play it. Now we're going to actually do them down the side. So let's find an empty space. Right click and do a keyboard. Uh, I guess right mouse button. So it's not keyboard, okay, sorry. So just search for right mouse button. There you go. So when we hold this, we are going to aim down the sides. What I want to do when I do that, is that I want to first uh, go into the components and create a new camera. Let's call this a normal camera. I'm going to call this shoulder cam. Let's just connect this into the mesh directly. There you go. Now let's go back here in, when the camera is selected. Let's click on our activate and toggle to false. So we actually do not start with this camera. We want to start with the normal one. Now let's place this camera roughly on the shoulder of the player, something like that, I guess. I don't really know how to place this correctly. Well, let's actually, you know, let's auto-activate it and deactivate the other one so we can see how it looks. Let's play. Okay, you can see that it doesn't really work well. Uh, okay, let's just do this. Let's drag it a little bit backwards, I guess. There you go. That's exactly what we want. So that's going to be cool. Uh, let's now so uh, deactivate this camera and activate the follow camera. There you go. Let's go into our shoulder cam. And let's set up some values that we're going to need. So first of all, we're going to need to uh, activate use spawn control rotation on it. There you go. And now we're going to need to compile and save this. Let's go into the event graph. And when we press this button, uh, we're going to go into the shoulder cam and the follow camera. So let's go into the follow camera and type in deactivate. Now I'm going to go into the shoulder cam and I'm going to activate. So new active. There you go. Plug that in. Another thing that I want to do is basically um, going to the camera, I guess it's the capsule component. No, it's actually the, the, the third person character or ourselves. We need to activate use control rotation yaw. Activating this will allow us to actually, um, the, char the character will rotate with the camera. You're going to see what I mean. So let's, when this is pressed, let's just do this. Let's, uh, uh, God damn it, I already forgot the name. So it's use controller, okay. Use controller rotation yaw. So we're going to want to set that to true. Then what we're going to need when we release is going to be the exact opposite. Let's go into the shoulder cam. Oh, not set, I'm sorry. Uh, Get the shoulder cam from the components and let's deactivate that. God damn it. Okay, there you go. 
let's go into the follow camera and let's set active I'm just gonna set the new active there you go and then I'm going to control uh, duplicate this node and I'm going to toggle this back to false so let's compile and save so when we play we are going to uh, let's hold our right mouse button and you're gonna see we are like this okay so we can now rotate the camera so you can see that this is a little bit weird that we can um, you know walk like in this dire direction so but if you actually stand still you see how it looks uh, and actually if you stop holding the the mouse button is going to go back to normal and then you can do it again so now let's fix that uh, rotation gas bug it is so let's go and there is orient uh, movement let's just type in movement I guess it's in the character movement there you go there is um, a variable on the character movement there is orient rotation to movement we want to disable this when we are in naming down the site so let's get our camera to movement let's set orient rotation to movement let's set this to false and when we uh, stop aiming down the sights we're gonna activate that back okay so let's compile and save see what happens so I'm going normally if I aim now you can see that the character is actually going where you want to um, but now what you do uh, is when we're doing this we actually play the little aim down the sights animations that's not the part I want to cover I just want to do this basic logic and I guess I'm just going to into the third person character and just uh, rise a little bit this camera so let's see how that looks okay, that's fine there you go uh, so yeah I think that's gonna be it so you can see that uh, we can now basically aim down the sights when we want to and we can stop doing it and yeah I think uh, that's gonna be it if you guys want me to actually cover the animations part like make the character uh, aim down the sides where in his state is actually not that difficult with uh, the other series that I'm doing you should get how to do this but if you don't if you're still learning the beginnings I can do it so just leave me in the comments and I'll do it in the next episode and yeah I think that's gonna be it uh, I'm actually just going to cover if you want the, the, um, the animations so that's probably gonna be best but yeah I'm gonna leave that if you guys need if you guys have no need for it I'm not gonna do it because it's not really uh, it's not really uh, it's not really related to locomotion that's not really what I'm aiming for I'm just want to work the actual code of doing this instead of you know doing the animations and stuff but yeah uh, you can see that this is working and there's probably just one last thing that I'm gonna do is uh, basically if we are aiming down the sets I'm not going to enable the sprint so let's um, go into event graph so let me see okay so I'm going to create a new branch over here uh, near the left shift we're going to create a new variable which is called can sprint and I'm going to do default is going to be true so I'm going to compile this and set the default to true and I'm going to get this over here and I'm just going to knock it out of the true so that's going to be fine I'm actually going to set that here so I'm going to set can sprint to false when we're aiming down the sights and control C control V and set it to true when we stop aiming and if we start aiming down the sights I'm just going to call something that is going to be stop sprint basically so if we are starting on the sites while we sprint I'm going to stop it so let's compile and play now if I do this if I'm sprinting and I'm down the sites you can see that I stop and I can not actually start sprinting until I stop aiming down the sites so that's a little bit of um, you know logic over here 
now well with animations you obviously will be uh, you know doing the character to actually aim down and aim up as you do this but yeah that's gonna be fine I guess so again leave me in the comments if you guys want me to do the, the animations you know making this look actually good uh, but if you don't want me to do that you want me to do another thing you can actually leave any suggestion in the comments hopefully you guys enjoyed this um, or if you if you said anything you want me to improve or do different you can also tell me I really appreciate input so I can make these you know better uh, so yeah thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next one bye bye